good, which we will do. We do all the time because of our physical brain and the physical body and the physical environment force us into making mistakes. Doesn't matter what mistake we make, God can always repair. So He would never condemn us or punish us in any way that we have been made to believe. That's the way I have discovered. So I would like to share it with you. And I hope that from today you will keep this in your mind, whether you would like to study further uh, with us or not. Just remember, God is merciful and have no fear whatsoever. Either you are still here or you depart. At the time of departure, there will be beautiful beings of heaven waiting for us immediately as the soul leaves the body. The reason why many people have not been able to see this, including the death, because they have not prepared themselves. Maybe some of these people have prepared themselves in the wrong way, in a negative way, because they have thought that they have done something wrong in their life. So they expect damnation, they expect punishment, and that's what they will get. Whatever you believe, that shall be materialized, because you are God. You are one with God, always, even though at the moment, due to the physical hindrance, some of us do not realize this. But we have nothing but God within without us. We are nothing but God's essence. There's nowhere else we could go but within God's embrace every time, 24 hours. We are separated from God because of our thinking, because of our deep-rooted belief that we are mere mortal. In order to remember this, that we are God again, we must train ourselves backward again. The way we have trained ourselves to think separate from God, we have to retrain in the opposite direction. And we will do that until finally it becomes automatic. And then because we contact God every day through our diligent and pure intention, practice, we will know for sure that we are one with God. So at the time of departure, there's nothing but God surround us or heavenly beings that come and greet us to the higher dimension of love. Some of the deaf people do not see this phenomena. Even though Jesus stand by, Buddha is near, they would not see this. Also, they would not realize that they could manifest anything at will, that they have the power of creativity in their hand, especially after leaving this physical body, the whole power will be given, will be returned to us again. Not returned, but then without the hindrance of this physical body, we will be all powerful again. Just like the day we were with God, just like the day we have not descended into this world. But some of us, when we depart from this world, because we did not know this secret, we did not learn this secret, we did not learn to master our thinking while we are in the physical body. So at the time of death, we forget even more. So some of us, or probably you have heard that some people who die came back and complaining that they are in hell and they need help, they need prayer, all that, etc., etc. These are true also. 
but only true to these people, not true as general, not true to you, and not true to me. For those who have learned the secret of the universe, who have learned the power of creativity, who have learned to be one with the universal, mighty power, they know everything before they die and after they die. They are the master of their own destiny, anywhere, now and after. But to arrive there, we need some practice. It may take a few days, a few weeks or a few months. Not only we practice to remember our own creative power only, but we practice so that we also enjoy heaven while living also, enjoy contacting with God's intelligence while we are still here on this planet so that we can make use of this power to enhance our life and the lives of the people that walk on our path. But this takes some discipline, even though it is so easy. We would rather work for money. We would rather work for car, for house, <laughs> for beauties, than to work to re-earn the kingdom of God again. Why? It's because our habit, whatever we have been trained to do since we were young, we continue doing that. The brain doesn't like change. The brain like everything just settle, simple, fix, every day the same routine. Whether bad or good, he likes that. He's very upset when some change takes place. Because the machine is like that. The brain is also only a machine. And even the power behind the brain, which is the mind, is also not very highly qualified for the purpose of attaining heaven. The mind is just like electric power behind the computer. So we have to return to the source of all wisdom and true. Because if we do not train ourselves now, at the time of death, it will be too late. Our brain, our mind, our thinking has been fixed into some negative order. We have not enough time to escape from that or to repair from that. We can do so during the time that we sojourn in this planet. This is the easiest way. Because if we have not prepared for that day, we have not learned to know what we are doing and where we are going, then at the time of death we will be overwhelmed by different dimensional karma. Karma is the Sanskrit term for the law of cause and effect. Whatever we did in this lifetime will ingrain the impression in our thinking, and when we die, we bring it with us. So if we want to erase that, we must do some deep contemplation, deep purification. We can call that meditation, contemplation, deep